All right, guys, let's make some black buttercream. You can find the list of the ingredients on the description box below. I'm gonna be using the KitchenAid uh, with a paddle attachment and I'm gonna add the butter and the shortening to my mixing bowl and I'm gonna start my mixer and the low speed and then I'm gonna increase it to a medium speed and I'm gonna let it run for about five minutes until I don't see any lumps of the shortening or the butter. So remember that the butter was at room temperature. So I stopped the mixer in between uh, and I just scraped the sides. Now that there's no lumps of shortening or butter, I'm gonna start adding the sugar. I add the first half and I'm gonna start my mixer in very slow um, speed because I don't want the sugar flying all over my kitchen. What you can do also is you can cover your mixer with a towel, a kitchen towel, and that should take care of uh, all the sugar flying. Now I'm gonna add the second part of the sugar and I'm gonna do the same. I started slowly and then I start increasing the speed. At this point, the sugar is well incorporated with the shortening and the butter. Add the black cocoa in two stages. You can see in the video that the cocoa does not mix very easily with the buttercream, so just keep on mixing and scraping the sides of the bowl. I added the vanilla and some almond extract. The almond extract is totally optional depending on the flavor you want your buttercream to be. Add the rest of the cocoa and mix well. The buttercream is pretty dark at this point, but it is not black yet. We can accomplish the true black by adding some gel color and keep on mixing. At the end, I added three teaspoons of black food gel color. The buttercream looked black, but to get a really true black, let it rest overnight. For sure, the next day, the buttercream is true black color. The advantage with this recipe is that you will not end up coloring your teeth or skin since the amount used is very little. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and subscribe for more recipes and tutorials.